Creekside Village, David. I uh, want to wish you happy anniversary for the 20 years that you've been at Bethel. I remember so well when you were called and how happy we were. And you've been the perfect fit for what we needed at Bethel to take us to become an open and inclusive, friendly, outgiving church like it is today. I'm so proud of my church and you've been perfect there. You helped me a lot when my husband died. I wanted to thank you so much now that I'm 92 that I can go to church every Sunday morning right here in my home with the Zoom that you've all set up. Liz and her filming. And, uh, I, it means so much to me to be there every Sunday morning. And, and surprisingly, I feel like I'm in church. And I sing along and laugh along and, and do, do the whole service with you every Sunday. I don't know what we'd do without you, David. We're, you're really special to all of us. And I want to welcome you home from your vacation. I hope to see you soon in person and give you a big hug. Congratulations again. 20 years. As a child, when my parents said those words, I remember 20 years ago, yada, yada, I thought, oh, wow, if you can say that, you're truly old. But for you, David, those 20 years are measured not in the gray in your hair or the ache in your joints, but in the lives that you've touched, the people you've called friend and have been nurtured by you in such loving and caring ways. For example, I remember well the day you introduced the congregation to newborn Alexander Green. I actually cried because it was such a heartfelt, tender moment, a demonstration of community love that I had never experienced in a church before. And that's when I knew I wanted to be part of Bethel. I thank you for those memories. I also thank you for the same caring relationship with two Bethel members who were closest to me, Winifred Hershaft, who considered you a best friend, and to my husband, Rick, who needed a spiritual advisor as his overwhelming um, will to live gave way to acknowledging that his battle was lost and then coming to terms with that. You made such a difference in our lives and the lives of so many others. Happy anniversary, Reverend David, and thank you. Hi, David. Unbelievable how fast 20 years goes. I remember John Bentley coming up with this guy on a Saturday morning at Habitat Work Day. And we're so happy you came. You've done so much for us since you've been here. Thank you and we wish you the best in your next 20 years and more. We hope it's been a good time for you too and, and God bless you. I just second everything that Bob just said about David and we've enjoyed your time with us and uh, wish you the best in the next 20 years. It's the first thing I remember about David Randall Bodman. He was very concerned about turning his back to the congregation because his bald spot would show. Either it demonstrated a sense of humor or a little bit of an ego between the Randall Bodmans and the Thomases. We raised three Labrador Retrievers and one Golden. It was just a fun and deep, deep friendship. It's been enjoyable having David here for 20 years. And the first thing, it was always nice when he talked about his family and his boys. And it was fun. We lived with the boys and grew up with the boys from school and then going to college. And now they're professionals and they're doing well. And it was uh, so great to see. I was hospitalized a couple of times and he came to the hospital and it really helped me. He always enjoyed when we brought the Christmas trees in. I've given David the motorcycle lecture a hundred times. He's never listened to it. I get great joy when I'm able to, to go fast and also be just a tiny bit safe. <laughs> and that day that he 
took off for Alaska. I was standing right there with this whole crowd of people, and we all waved. <clears throat> and lordy, lordy, I said to myself, I hope he comes back alive. <laughs> and uh, he did come back alive. That's the most important thing. I, you know the rest of the story. Hi, David. Congratulations on your 20 years with uh, Bethel. That's a big chunk of your work in life. And I know you poured your heart and soul into that congregation. I think that transition you made during uh, when Bethel was in the pandemic um, and your commitment to it, you're a great reformer, appreciate your sense of humor, and especially that time we had together up in Alaska on your 40 days and 40 nights on a motorcycle on uh, your journey inward and outward uh, during that time. And then I think the last thing I want to say is just your commitment to your family, to your church, and to pushing hard ideas. Uh, I think that's really important to have a reformer like you um, initiating hard conversations and making people think about things that are hard. Surprise! Hey, DRB, my brother from Maine, this is your gal, Cinta. And I just want to say congratulations and happy anniversary on reaching your 20 year milestone at Bethel. Now it's time to celebrate. So give me a call so we can go have a toast. Hey David, congratulations on 20 years of ministry. What a joy for you and for Bethel. I've so enjoyed uh, working with you these last 13 years while I've been at Lake Oswego UCC. I so appreciate your friendship and your colleagueship, and especially have loved the times when we've been able to offer joint confirmation classes. Uh, I so appreciate your spirit with our youth, um, your ability to take all these concepts from our faith and make them resonant for our young people, and uh, just enjoy the fun of being creative and collaborative with you. Uh, I also totally admire your ability to drive a passenger van full of teenagers over a snowy pass as well. So anyway, I just wish you well uh, in the next 20 years, and I'm so grateful uh, to have been able to share so many of these years with you. Blessings, David. Hi, David. David. <laughs> Here we are, Anne and I together to celebrate you. We hear it's your 20th anniversary at Bethel, and we're excited to be part of the celebration. We've known David for how long? 10 years. 10 Can't years. believe it. And how Can't did we meet, it. Anne? Enneagram. Uh -huh. Enneagram. Uh -huh. Enneagram Portland. Yes. Dale. Dale. And we're all Enneagram friends. A four, a nine with a one wing. <laughs> that makes David my special friend. <laughs> so tell me about the special friend well, nature with you and David <laughs> <laughs> as we celebrate him. I admire David's devotion to his church and to his family, especially his two boys and his mother even. I mean, it's very inspiring. And um, I'm really, I really appreciate David's sense of adventure and sense of fun that he shares with a circle of friends. It's very, very helpful to all of us. And um, I wish I went to church because if I did, I'd go to yours, David. Devotion's a great word. That's what I think of as one word with, with David. But I also, um, admire his ingenuity. Uh, during COVID, he had to switch to remote services, which with a congregation is daunting. And he rose to the occasion and was steady through all of that. And um, also, I really appreciate his wry sense of humor. It may be a main sense of humor, but I think he brings that to the table uh, regularly. And, um, and the high standards um, of the one, I think that that also shines through. So congratulations, David. 20 years, that's, you know, a good part of one's working life. So enjoy your celebration and, and what's what's to come after the celebration, some more reinvention. Yes. Celebrate, my friend. <laughs> Woo. David, do you remember the first week that you were here? How you came to look for Dave, my Dave? You went up to the Veterans Hospital, tried to find your way around, and when you got there, he wasn't there. He was at home. So then you came to the house. You'd never met my Dave before. You sat on the bed with him. You asked him, the first thing you asked him was, 
what would you like me to get you? And my Dave said, you're from Colorado? I'd like a Coors beer. Remember your answer? <laughs> I'd like one too. <laughs> <laughs> you helped our family get through this week. And of course you did the first memorial service two weeks later. Hello, David. I just want to say congratulations on reaching this wonderful milestone of 20 years at Bethel. And I want to share my thanks to you for being so generous with your time when Rodney was so sick and spending time with us. I think that is a wonderful thing to do and you are very good at it. And I appreciate every hour you spent with us. Hi, David. It's Nancy, and I'm being in, interviewed uh, out here in my in my bank's home. I can remember when you came to the church 20 years ago. I was just newly out of surgery for cataract surgery, and I can remember that I was concerned about how things were going to go and so on. But we've had a good relationship over the last 20 years, and and things are going well at the church and for you too. There's been a lot of changes in my life, moving away from Beaverton and losing Homer. I'm congratulating you on being with Bethel for 20 years and have a great rest of your time at Bethel and we'll see you when we see you. Congratulations, David. We're so happy that you chose to come to Bethel. You've been such a fantastic minister for us and we have been involved in the community. That makes me really happy because the community is what brings everybody together. And you definitely have made that happen. And people who are coming and visiting Bethel are finding you a very welcoming minister. And that makes me happy as well. Wendell and I have, you know, have been part of Bethel for many, many years. Um, married 65 years ago in the church and grew up in the church as kids. So we've been part of Bethel for many, many years and I wouldn't trade it for anything. And your leadership continues to make it the church of Beaverton. So thank you, David. Enjoy everything that you have, and we're just blessed to have you. Thank you for your leadership. Go fast, 